What's up, guys? This is Libra's business reading um, for the week of August 18th. So the overall energy of this reading, this is for Libra with a business that is about to change, that's about to take up, following your passion and putting in the work for your business, following the things that you do best. You may have a business in the field that um, you're passionate about is leading you to results. But right now, you, you you don't see that. You don't see the fruit of your labor right now. You're not seeing it. Um, but Spirit is saying, don't worry about it. Uh, continue to work. Persevere through whatever phase you're going through in your business. It's going to lead you to more. It's going to lead you to a change. It's going to bring a breakthrough to your business. You are good enough. And indecision is on the bottom of the deck. What you're doing is good enough. You're on the right path, even if you don't see it. But sometimes when we're in business, we, you know, if we don't see the results, even not even just immediately after a period of time of doing something, sometimes we feel like we're doing something wrong or we're not, do, you know, we're not good enough or what we're doing isn't good enough and we're not meeting our audience. But Spirit is saying, yeah, it may seem that way, but a change is coming. You also have the Princess of Pen. Wow, I have to show both of these. You have the Princess of Pentacles. Princess of Swords, and the Tower. Continue to follow your ideas. Continue to implement your ideas. Continue to work towards the fruition of your goals and objectives. Keep working. It's going to lead to a powerful change in your business. Right now, it may seem, you know, you may be experiencing some lack. The Five of Pentacles came out of here twice. You may be experiencing some lack. Things may not be going the way that you want them to go right now but they are you just don't maybe you don't see it but your hard work is going to pay off what you're doing right now is paying off um we have rest and rejuvenation sorry rest and rejuvenation with nothing is yet set in stone and believe in the impossible exactly what i just said things may be very slow right now you know you're not slow because you're working hard but results aren't coming in as quick as you would like for them to come in. But continue to work hard. It's not set. This is not the end. Nothing is set in stone. Believe in the impossible. Believe in your plans. Believe in the vision that you have in your for your business. Believe that you believe in yourself. Believe that you can do it. Believe that the universe is working with you to bring your customers, to bring you alliances, bring manifestation of uh, abundance in your business. Again, nothing is set in stone because things are changing for you right now. For the better, even if you don't see it. First card we have is the strength card. First tarot card, because we had oracles first. And that's clarified by the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. Stay strong. Stay strong. Your, your plans, the things that you're doing right now in your business, the implementation of your plans, your strategy... Is leading you to a new phase. It's leading your business to a new phase, a more abundant phase, a more um, stable phase, a more lucrative phase. But you have to remain strong. If you quit now, you'll never see the next phase. But if you keep going and you continue to work hard towards the fruition of your goals and your business, it'll work out for you. Then we have another couple. We have the Five of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles side by side, clarified by the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Listen, anybody starting a business is, you know, most people when they start a business, it doesn't take off as soon as you begin to put the work in. You have to continuously carry the responsibility of building for your business, of putting the work in, working hard and being dedicated, being per persevering through the pain. She doesn't look comfortable. Look at this card. Does she look comfortable? She does not look comfortable to me. It looks like she's doing what she has to do to get with, to carry the burdens and she's carrying the responsibilities because perseverance, because, sorry, new opportunities are near. She's putting the work in to manifest new opportunities in her business, to manifest new business, to manifest new connections, to manifest financial blessings and abundance. And it will work out. You will go from nothing to something. You will go from having nothing to having everything. From instability to stability, from lack to increase and in overflow. So keep putting the work in. Keep carrying the responsibility of it, 
of implementing your plans, knowing that it's leading you to a lucrative future. You have the Ten of Pentacles. You got the King of Pentacles. You have the Ace of Pentacles. You got the Nine of Pentacles in this reading. You have Breakthrough. You have so much money in this reading. So it could just be saying that it could be some problems you have financially. But also that it's not going to last long because it's, as long as you continue towards the fruition of your goals, it's going to manifest. Then the next thing is interesting that came out. We had the Nine of Swords. First, we had the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles that came out. You know, worrying about money. Then it was also clarified by the Hermit. Which is, if you can see that from this ring all being in the way, this is, oh my goodness, the ninth card as well. And this deck, this is the ninth, most, all decks though. Um, it's the ninth major arcana. So 999, the number of perseverance, the number of persistence, the number of keep going, <laughs> the number that says, Continue to work and keep going. Be persistent towards the fruition of your goals. It will pay off. It will pay off. It was a dramatical value of the number 999 as well. I clicked out the link, but basically it's saying your plan is going to work out for you. Persevere. When I see 999, I think of, um, I did a reading on how it was Cardi B successful. And the number 999 came out of hers as well. And it was perseverance. Knock me down nine times, but I get up ten. You know, carry, knock me down nine times and I get up ten. Carry the responsibilities of seeing your plans through. Because you know that it's leading towards the fruition of your goals. And everything is coming together for you. You're working towards connections. You know, this last hump could be you working towards connections. With the two of cups clarified by another nine which nine is also a number of service nine is a number of humanitarian nine is the number of blessings nine is the number of divine feminine energy nine is the number of service and insight and and um light perhaps your last burden or hurdle not burden or a responsibility or hurdle is to be is to connect with people. You have to figure out a way to connect with your customers, with your audience, whoever it is that you're connecting with in your business. This is the what you need to do. Focus on now. Focus on building connections. Focus focus on service. Focus on persevering and seeing your plans through to fruition, knowing that it's leading to better times. Then we have the death card and the ace of swords. Death card and Ace of Swords, clarified by the King of Swords. Transformation, breakthroughs, clarity, clear decisions, being at a place of power where you can make clear decisions. Once you get over this hump, it will all be clear to you. You will know, it won't be, should I quit? Should I stop? Am I doing this right? Am I good enough? Am I not good enough? You won't be in the energy no more because you would have overcame those obstacles. You would have made connections and transformed your business and brought a business breakthrough. And now you know who you are and now you know what to do. And now you know how to take your business to the even further levels. I forgot to mention we had the Hierophant and the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Remain balanced. Remain, continue to use your masculine energy, which is your hard work and determination in your hands and, you know, your plans and implementing those plans and putting in the action and hard work necessary to match your feminine energy, which is your ideas and implementing your ideas and, and following spirit and, and knowing and staying in a good energy, knowing that your plans are going through without a hitch, even if you don't see it, knowing that manif manifest good things, manifest positive vibes, manifest new levels and increase in breakthroughs in your business because that's what you expect. That's what you know is happening and continue to work hard and use your hand towards the goals. The Knight of Swords does not stop doing that. The Knight of Swords doesn't stop until the manifestation of the desires of his heart. And the song that's coming in my head is Old Town Road. Take your horse to the Old Town Road and ride until you can't no more. Ride until you get to the finish line. And, and in business, is there really a finish line? The exit strategy is the finish line. But in business, it's like, you know, when one chapter closes, another one opens. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Persevere through this time. It's going to work out for you. Whoever um, that resonates with this, things may be slow. You're not slow, but maybe business isn't coming in ex exactly how you expect it to, but it will. Make those connections. Persevere. Carry those responsibilities because 
financial abundance is near and a new phase of life for your business and a new phase of abundance and, and lucrative times are coming towards your business. Thank you for watching. I ask that you like, subscribe, and comment. I'll start doing more business readings. If I get more views on these videos, I'll do them more often. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Please check out my book, The Power of I Am. I am the creator and the creator is in me. Amazon, Ashley Giller, and I have several books on there that could be to your liking. I also have a business strategy journal that will help you with planning and implementing your business plans. I wish you more light and more life.